hello student in this video we are going to understand one program that how to put a background in scratch you are already aware about this software scratch i am using scratch 2 offline editor and right now i have one spirit but i don't want this spirit you can delete also and how to delete this spirit that you have to press the right button of the mouse you will get one option delete you can delete now you have to select choose spirit from your library this option so here we are selecting uh, spirit from the library and then we will select different background for this so as you click on it you will get some spirit already available in this software I am clicking on animal and then I am selecting fish this one then put ok as you click it will be placed on your stage now I want one more spirit so again go to the library and then click on animal and click on fish as you click on fish you will have to click ok button so one more fish is available now now I want one more spirit and then press ok so this way I have selected few of the character from my story now I will place one background according to this animal so I just go to this place backdrop and then you have to click choose backdrop from library as you click you will get a lot of background according to then you have to select your background according to the character that you have to or what is the animation you want to make the story that you want to prepare so you will select the background according to yourself right now I am searching a background which will go which will give the look of aquarium ok so I got it one image that is underwater 3 I am taking underwater 3 here we have underwater 1 also underwater 2 and underwater 3 so I feel that it is good I am taking underwater 3 and then press ok so as you click you can see automatically your white stage has disappeared and whatever the background we have selected it has appeared now we will give command to each fish first of all we will go with the fish 3 and you have to give command right now I am selecting first event that I already said for creating animation you have to click first of all event only and then click when flag is clicked what will happen so the fish will move it will move 10 step okay. and then you also take some control that it should repeat and it will continuously move so I am going with continuously moving and I am connecting it with the forever command here but as we have already discussed that when fish move 10 step it will go out of this stage and it will disappear so for that it should bounce back again so I am selecting one more option from the move command that is f on edge bounce back I am putting here f on edge bounce back and back in what position left to right so I am selecting set rotation style left to right so this command I have given for the fish 3 now the thing what I have done because I want for every fish the same command so I have just clicked right click of the mouse and then duplicate it and this duplicate I am putting to the fish first and second also so my dice become easier and there is no requirement of writing 
the command for each and every fish. I just typed in the fish three and I have duplicated and then I have passed the same thing to the rest of the fish two and one also. Now what will happen student when I click the flag it will start moving. So let's see whether it works or not. I am pressing flag. You can see now all the fish are moving. Yes. So it's working student. Whenever it is touching the boundary the fish is rotating again left and right continuously. You can see how it is moving. So I know student you have understood this program perfectly and I hope you can make this program on your own system. Go through the video properly, understand it and prepare it well. So thank you student for watching this video and understanding this properly. Till then student, bye bye. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day student.